Hello everyone, I hope you're well. You may remember a few weeks ago that I discussed diversifying my channel into different things and I promised that I'd give you a few tips and tricks uh, photography wise and today I thought it would be a perfect day to come out and show you one of my kind of budget friendly photography tips. So many people think that expensive equipment, expensive cameras equate to better pictures or great pictures and it really just isn't true. My philosophy is to buy the best equipment that you can afford comfortably and to simply make the most of it and to learn your camera and all the settings inside out. That really is key to getting uh, great photographs. One of the most important things uh, for a photographer is light and you don't need to invest in expensive lighting or even a flash to bring a little bit of life to your pictures. So I've come out to Kostorfenwald Garden today um, to show you a budget friendly option for just giving a bit of pizzazz to flower pictures and it can be used uh, for all other types of photography as well. So as I was saying you don't need to spend a lot of money and one of the things that is most important to me is a reflector. Now you can buy reflectors and you know they can go anything up to £50 for a big one but unbelievably um, I have a ref very very cheap option this card here which is actually from a packet of salmon believe it or not which we bought in the local supermarket and incredibly on each side is there's, there's a reflective coating, a silver one and a gold one and you can probably tell just by me waving it just how much light it reflects and you can actually use this to fill in shadows on whatever it is that you're uh, photographing. So it's ideal for flowers and just filling in those shadows and basically angle of incidence equals angle of reflection all that sort of physics jazz. I don't think I can remember physics very well but effectively you're just looking for an angle which just fills in the shadows on whatever it is you're photographing and as I say this just came with a packet of salmon. Now I did have to make sure that I cleaned it because it does still smell a little bit salmony but another alternative is to get a bit of card and a bit of bacon foil, any type of silver foil and just wrap it around the card and it does exactly the same thing. Again you can probably see how it's reflecting the light. And again you can angle that at just the right angle onto a flower just to fill in all those shadows and give it a bit of warmth. So these are really really budget options to getting much much better photographs and they really do not cost me a thing. Um, I do carry around lights but you know these are just as good and just as effective and of course they're giving natural light um, which I always think is the best thing. So don't go spending lots of money on lots of photography gear. Um, there are many many cheaper options out there and they work extremely well. So coming up now I'll show you some before and afters using these simple uh, little things, little reflectors and uh, I hope that uh, you can see what a difference it makes. Here I'm just using the reflector to bounce light back onto the subjects and hopefully you can see just how much light you can get on your subjects using a very very simple reflector. Now it's very important to note that this is very much a game of trial and error so you do have to play around with the reflector a bit but once you get it right um, you can really have some quite astonishing results. So here are some very simple before and after shots using the reflector. Hopefully you can see how angling the reflector correctly or to whatever angle works you can fill in all these shadows and really bring some light and life to your pictures. Now it's really important to say that these are just very very quick snaps made on my camera phone without any real artistic merit um, but it's just to illustrate that just through very very simple methods you can just bring back some natural light onto your subjects and just illuminate them to your taste. Try it out for yourself and experiment and play around and I'm sure you'll surprise yourself with what you can achieve. 
So thank you very much uh, for watching. Um, I hope to bring lots more um, photography tips and tricks to you, um, particularly budget-friendly ones. Before I go, I just want to bring your attention to a fantastic YouTube channel. They're called Romana and Ewan, and they do really superb travel videos from around Europe, and also Scottish interest ones, which are absolutely brilliant. Just type Romana and Ewan into YouTube, and their channel should come up. Um, give them a subscribe, give them a bit of love because they're making really high quality travel videos and if you do have an interest in Scotland you'll love what they're doing. Thanks very much again for watching and I'll see you again next time. Thank you all oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Uh, that's the YouTube way and I really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Bye bye now.